Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw a star in Adobe Illustrator. The first thing I'll have you do, as always, is create a new document. So go up to File, New, or Command N as a shortcut. And then this document I'm gonna make 1920 by 1080 in RGB color mode and hit Create. Make sure that was pixels as well. It actually has a shape tool that is the star tool. So if you go over here to your toolbar, tool panel, whatever you want to call it, there's the rectangle tool and you click and hold that, you get all these different tools, including the star tool. So if we select that, we'll let go on that. We now have the star tool selected and I'm gonna do a stroke or a fill of black, uh, no stroke on that. If we click and drag anywhere on our canvas, it's gonna create a star. That's it, right? That's the end of this tutorial. No, there's way more to it than that. Okay, so I clicked and I dragged and I created a star. Here's what else I can do. If I grab that star tool again, click and drag and do not let go. Use your up and down arrow keys. And you can increase and decrease the number of points that your star has, even down to uh, almost like a triangle. So you can do that and let go, create like a starburst effect. Uh, one other thing that we can do with this star tool is if we click and drag again, we hold on to this, we decrease the points a little bit, maybe we'll go back down to uh, four points. Then if I hold, I'm, I'm, I've let go of the, uh, the arrow keys, I'm still holding on to my mouse, I can still drag it in and out. If I hold the command key, I can actually adjust how pointy our star is and create all sorts of different shapes by pinching in these points. And then if I let go, it'll allow me to scale that back up and down. So that's pretty cool. And then I can always add or decrease the number of points on our star and then hold command again to uh, change that shape and create all sorts of different types of effects. So that's how you create a star and also some other different shapes in Adobe Illustrator. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.